Hello everybody, welcome to today's YouTube tutorial where today I'm going to be walking you guys through a tutorial on how to use one of the best things to come out of AI since the whole big boom of AI. Everybody's talking about AI, AI, AI. AI. This is called Opus Clip. We've all been there where we record long format content, we edit down the video, and now we have to make other format content. With Opus Clip, you can now do all of that in one click. Let's get started. If you head to the main link down in the description, you will go to Opus Pro, which is Opus Clip. This is the splash page for the AI video clipping tool. You can scroll down here and see the different tools that are already in it. It will take, essentially, it'll take the entire video, use ChatGPT, cut out the best pieces that it thinks will do well online. It has active speaker detection, meaning that it will follow the face of whoever is speaking. It recently rolled out its own AI B-roll. That way you can put B-roll on top of whatever you guys are saying. And then it will also create captions for your video and add different brand elements that you guys can turn into your brand. It'll add emojis to your captions. It's very, very cool. At the very bottom, there is a get free clips every month, no credit card required button. And if you go through that, you can get some free minutes for your video. It runs like this. However long your video is, it uses up that many minutes from your account. So click that button and walk through making an account. Once you have made an account, you should head to your dashboard. Now your dashboard on Opus Clip is essentially you can drop a link from YouTube or Rumble or Zoom or Google Drive, or you can just drag in your file that you have already. You can see here that it works best with talking videos for video podcasts, educational videos, commentary, product reviews, motivational speeches does not work the best right now for gaming videos, music videos, or vlogs. So what I've actually done is I've actually recorded some test footage for this. All this video really was, was me talking into the camera for about three minutes about being a YouTube creator and stuff. I just had ChatGPT write something about editing and, and I just said it. <laughs> so I uploaded the clip by dragging it into the box. Normally these take anywhere from like six minutes to 12 minutes. So you get this AI co-pilot thing that comes in and it asks, you know, what type of captions do you want? Do you want it in English? Yes, I want it in English. Then you can also say the preferred clip length. Uh, for me, I'm going to say 30 to 60 seconds. You can also process a certain time frame. So if you know that there was a long intro to your video and you don't want it to pull from that, you can drag this in and it's like, oh, it was 30 seconds in. You can also do topics. So if you want it to pull a specific topic from your video specifically. So if there was a podcast and at one section they talked about, um, I don't know, a Tesla or something. You could type in Tesla here in this space and it would try to search for those moments. Now I'm going to hit get clips in one click. From here, it'll give you your estimated wait time. You can leave this page and it will send an email to your email that you signed up with. You can also fine tune the AI while it's working by doing this little survey here down at the bottom. So I'll be right back after the wait time is finished. Okay, so after waiting a few minutes, I received an email in my inbox saying that my clips were ready. When I came back to it, I received three different clips. Each clip has a score next to it. This is the viral score. It's the likelihood that the video will go viral on shorts, TikToks, and reels. It also has a description as to why the video could do good, but let's take a listen to one of these clips. Today, I want to dive deep into a topic that's close to my heart and probably many of yours as well, the incredible world of YouTube and the art of being a creator. YouTube has transformed the way that we consume content. It's become a hub for creators to share their passions, talents, and insights with the world. That, was, that one's not bad. You know, it gives you a title that you could use for it as well. You can also go into this guy. It's very cool. You can schedule it from Opus Clip, or you can actually go in and edit the clip. So looking at the edit panel for Opus Clip, you can see I have my clip here, my timeline down here. I have the captions on the left side. So go through and make sure that all the captions are spelled correctly. If you don't like one of like the emojis that it has, you can delete the emojis. You can also change uh, the different highlight colors. You can add an emoji. You can correct the caption. You can set as the start or set as the end. You also have a design panel as well. So you can add auto 
auto b-roll which i am going to try this right now i've never tried this so we'll see we'll see what it does while it's doing that you can also do auto emojis you can like toggle all those off to turn them off now let's go see what type of b-roll that this made because i'm kind of kind of concerned about it we'll find out it's become a hub for creators to share their passions talents and insights with the world from makeup tutorials to gaming and cooking and vlogs youtube is the canvas where creators paint their stories and hmm. ideas it's a place where authenticity shines where real people connect on a global scale and where creativity knows no bounds it's not just pointing a camera at yourself or your subject and hitting record it's about having a vision a voice and a commitment to your craft hey i mean it's it's pretty cool it's it's pretty cool it's not perfect yet but you know this is the worst that it's going to be that's what everybody keeps saying about ai i'm also going to say it too that's the worst that it's going to be it creates the clips it has cool captions that it adds you can also go in here into the captions and change it to like one line and so things the captions will craft a lot faster you can also do the caption position and then you can do what type so if i want to do like a pop instead so spending hours brainstorming ideas scripting filming and yes the ever elusive art of editing that's that's kind of cool you can change the font and stuff you can change all the colors and then you can change also the ai keyword highlighter as well it's very very cool once you have gone through and edited your video, you can hit save and compile up in the top right. After editing your clip, it will re-render. Then you can hit the download button right here to download your clip and then post onto social media. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to use Opus Clip. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments or head to the Discord and me and my team will be happy to assist you and help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.